we are headed out this morning to um, Mo Better Brews, um, Penny and I. I've been wanting to try this restaurant and I was supposed to meet my friend this morning at 9, but I got started <laughs> really late this morning. She got in late last night. Um, she went to homecoming dance. She said she had a good time. share some stuff and just try a few things they do have like pancakes and waffles and cinnamon buns or cinnamon rolls or something they have like appetizers truffle fries they have um, avocado toast all that kind of stuff but they also have a boudin um, like roll like a sushi roll I'm interested to see what that is so it is a vegan restaurant I first heard about it from um, a friend of mine who used to go and get coffee or whatever, it's a breakfast spot, but it, it's only open like 8 to like, I don't know, let's just say 4 or 2 o'clock, I don't know, it's like, it's not like all day, right? So you can do breakfast buffet, or you can actually order breakfast meals, whatever. So they have different options, so once we get there, we'll show you what all they have. But, a friend of mine told me about it a while ago, and he used to go and hang out and drink coffee, and whatever the spot and I was like oh this would be a good spot to like edit chill out or just like um brunch dates that type of thing when you want to go to a date that's like a light meal or daytime date or whatever maybe just even for coffee and like something like simple right I think that's a cool spot to go to but um okay I'm talking y'all and driving so I'm gonna stop. But anyway, so we're gonna head there and see what they have and try it out and rate some of their uh, dishes, of course. But yeah, I'm interested in trying a few, a few foods. But if I like, if I like the ambiance and the food, then I'll come back. But what made me really want to go is I saw that the Black Vegan, I think that's what his name is, on Instagram, did a short. And he was eating, girl. He was eating, smacking, and I was like, well, dang. I need to get over there. So I tried to go last week, but I realized that um, the day I was trying to go, they're actually closed on certain days or whatever. And so I messed that up and um, yeah, they were closed, but they opened the day and it's Sunday. So um, yeah, I just want to go and see what they have. And I don't know, they have like fried mushrooms and waffles, like all the things that, you know, fun foods that, you know, how that goes. I don't even know if it's the right way. Look weird. But anyway, when we get there, it's off of Southmore, so it's like, um, what is that considered? Like almost like third ward or whatever here in Houston. So yeah, I can't wait to see the ambiance it looks like and taste their food. So all right, so we made it down here. It's a pretty day out here, but it is cool. It's 60 something. Um it's a small spot, so you have to park on the street because they only have like a few parking spots inside the actual restaurant run area. Oh, girl, it's chilly. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's windy. You know, tell them how much it costs to stay over there. Uh huh. Pull up and park right here. Coffee, vegan, and vinyl. Lord knows I love music, so. Yeah, I love music, so I don't know. If they don't have nowhere to sit inside, we're gonna sit out here. Wasting my time, spending my nights from you, no face time. I'd rather be face to face with you, baby. 
You call it when you wanna be in the mood lately. Oh, yeah, you keep it high, babe. You on fire. Birthday suit better than designer. Steph Curry got my show like water. Second half, yeah, I'm coming in harder. All in. Send me, baby, is you all in? Act up, yeah, a little less talking. No shame, you ain't leaving in the morning. Phone ring, I ain't gotta check the caller, no, no. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. So I went to Mo Better Brews, which is an all vegan spot here in Houston, Texas, off of Sophomore. When I first got there, I ordered a lavender latte and it was so freaking amazing. So me and my good girlfriend and our daughters went to hang out. We got there at a really good time, so we were able to grab a seat before the rush hour. For me, I ordered the pancake sampler, which is pecan pie, peach cobbler, and strawberry cheesecake pancakes. Um, my girlfriend's daughter ordered the hot honey shrooms and waffles. We also ordered the cheesecake egg roll, which was the manager's special for the month and y'all this thing was banging i couldn't even eat all my food my eyes were definitely bigger than my stomach so we all had to go containers because we were extremely full couldn't finish our food my daughter had the strawberry cheesecake ice cream waffle she said it was amazing definitely 10 out of 10 we'll be back again all right so i'm gonna try to walk off some of this food because i am so full i'm miserable i didn't even eat it all but i'm miserable i could have just got the um philadelphia uh, uh philly rolls right and i would have been full because uh i almost ate two of those and i was full then i ate about half of my pancakes and i'm miserable so we're gonna go in marshall see if i can find these tights um that i've been liking Alright y'all, so we finally made it to Home Goods. We had stopped off at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. It looks like everything is on sale right now. I guess it's the clearance time when they're getting rid of stuff and bringing it in. I would say more of the winter items. But anyway, I was looking for a particular brand for hot honey to make the fried oyster mushrooms with the hot honey and waffles. I was thinking about doing it for the kids for Thursday. We'll see. But anyway... So after seeing the hot honey waffles at the Mo Better Brews, I was like, yeah, I'm going to make that. I'm going to make some vegan waffles and we about to tear down come Thursday. Anyway, I ended up finding a few things at Home Goods, a couple of pairs of tights at Marshall's. I think Ross, we found a bathroom rug and that was about it. I mainly was looking for like coffee, a few things for the kitchen when it came to Home Goods, of course. You know, I like to get my snacks from there and all my raw nuts. And then with Marshalls, we were looking for more hair products, but I'm going to hit up a TJ Maxx that's near me that normally has, I would say, a better selection. And then I'll grab some stuff for the girls. 
I'm basically in the middle of like decluttering, clean, cleaning out. It's that time of year. If, like I tell you all before, the October, November time, it's like the new year for me where I want to go through, clean out everything, declutter, organize, that type of thing. And then it's time to buy like fall, winter stuff and switch out our closets and drawers and you know how it goes. But anyway, I did find a few things at Home Goods. Y'all know me, I had to check the price. And the expiration date. I can't bring nothing home that's about to be expired, okay? If you don't shop at home goods for specialty items like oils, seeds, nuts, um, I don't know, just all things specialty coffees, you're missing out. You can find a really good a range of products at amazing pr- prices here compared to like going to like H-E-B, Whole Foods, Sprouts, and all that. They have amazing prices. I'm on class. Good morning. All right, so we open up the vlog. Yeah, I just dropped the cat. Oh, here it is. Ugh, I hurt my knee. We just opened up the vlog without saying how you doing. So, hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Helen. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, we opened up the vlog going to Mo Better Brews, which is a vegan spot here in Houston. Everything that you saw on the menu, everything that you saw me um, highlight or film in the reel is vegan. The Philly cheese steak, I think I said Philly cheesecake, but cheese steak uh, rolls, they're good. Now, the one thing I can say, yeah, I don't eat the processed vegan meats. I don't eat them. I do not eat them. They were really good, really flavored, um, well, tastes like cheese steak, <laughs> like really close. Like the texture was like, oh my God. Mm-hmm. But the, it was so good. I ate like one and a half. And I was so full just from that. My food hadn't even came yet. So I ordered the platter, the pancake platter. Pecan praline, peach cobbler, and strawberry cheesecake pancakes, right? I ate like half of each one, like half of the stack of each one. I couldn't even eat that. And when we left, we were miserable. Penny ate, didn't even eat half of her strawberry cheesecake ice cream waffle is what it was. <sighs> yeah. But let me tell you, the best part, well, everything was so freaking good. But that lavender latte, yeah, I think I'm going to get some lavender syrup today. But that lavender latte, and y'all don't buy syrups anymore. I haven't bought syrups in months, months, y'all, to put in my coffee. So I just stopped buying all that stuff. I want, I want to buy some, but it'll just be for me to use every once in a while. I won't, be, I won't use it every day. But that lavender latte was the best lavender latte I've ever had, like ever. And it was super strong, on point, like good, strong, flavorful coffee. Oh my God. So my girlfriend ordered the same thing I ordered, which was the platter. She didn't even know it either. Her daughter ordered the waffles with the uh, hot honey fried oyster mushroom. So that's why I went to Home Goods. I ended up buying like, um, I ended up buying tahini and a few other snacks, but I really wanted to get the hot honey, but I wanted the one that was like hot. And I've seen this at Ross West all the way here, but this fine. I'm just going to do this for the kids on Thursday, whatever. I might use it today for myself. I don't know y'all, I'm hungry this morning already, but I'm going to drink this. I got my shot right here. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. I'm doing too much. As long as I don't waste it on me. Look, barely wasted it. But I'm about to take this shot. I'm at the right Christopher at yesterday. Oh, I did get it on my sweater. Right here in the corner. Oh, this dog is knocking on the door. It's not bad. It's just a little corner. You can barely see it. But anyway. I need to go to Home Goods today, pick up some, not Home Goods, girl, TJ Maxx, pick up a few things in the beauty section, some hair products and stuff like that. I think I'm about get my hair braided again. Um, you know, I'm in this in-between stage. It's like my hair is getting thicker. It's growing like extremely fast. I don't like just wearing it sit back because it pulls on it, but I don't like wearing it out because it tangles real quick. It actually like wraps around each other, wraps and coils, and it knots really quickly. So... 
I don't like wearing that. I just don't. Anyway, uh, the sweat top is from uh, Lolo's Ink Spot, the same person where the t shirts are from. The um, My hustle comes from being a mother or whatever. Uh, yeah, so, well, y'all know that. Most of this stuff comes from her. That's good. That's like, <sighs> like, what, like a, a, a Takeda shot. That's good for you. Okay, I'm gonna put this up. Oh, these are the probiotics. Y'all know I rotate between this one and that other one. I forget the brand name, but these are the probiotics I take. And um, yeah, I was just telling my nail girl, I saw her in the street yesterday, that um, we might take these off. I mean, I like having nails. But I feel like um, everything's growing. <laughs> Hair everywhere. And just nails. And everything's growing. And I, I know it has something to do with, of course, like me taking the CMOS and my probiotics, eating healthy, drinking a lot of juice, all that kind of thing contributes to like um, the health of your body. And you start, listen, I don't know. I, I'm not going to be going to get refills like every two weeks. That's not going to happen. I'm a every month type of chick. And they're just gonna have to look funny. I'm gonna go back to natural nails so y'all don't see when it's time for a refill. Look, I've already chipped the black off right here. I'm working in the garden. I don't know. I should just tell her to take this color off and do, but I want it black. Ew, for October. I'm just saying. I'm gonna grab me a to go top for my, um, my juice. And we're gonna get out of here. I did get in some products to make some butter. I told everybody on the fragrance channel I'll make the butter and the body oils and I'll share with them today. So one of the first things I need to pick up today is vitamin E. I ran out and I think I'm gonna use coconut oil and almond oil for my um for my butters. These are the butters. I order my butters from the scent for you. They're like five bucks for these containers. It's the cheapest place I and I order from them for everything. Y'all know fragrances and everything. I just love their butters. Um, yeah, they're the best price. The best price. But anyway, I am going to get out of here. We might go to Target, TJ Maxx. And um, we got to find something for the kids to eat today. I don't know. What's today? Whatever Wednesday? Maybe we'll get the bread and stuff for them to make Subway sandwiches. Yeah, they can do whatever. And then this is the almond oil I get from Amazon. I also get the Shea Nut oil. Let me order it right now. I need the Shea Nut oil. Oh, but I'm not, not going to be in time for what I want to do. Am I going to do that today? Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Okay, so I, let me order the Shea Nut oil real quick. And when we do the Shea Butter, um, we'll do it together here. And then I'll film it separate for the other channel so they can see, like me doing the um, the butter, the whipped butter. I got some Ziploc bags. Y'all know I'm funny about Ziploc bags now, but I need to be able to separate the butters. Either it, I want to separate the butters in the bags with the oils because I have different scents. Listen, Shaper Mint has t-shirts and long sleeve shirts. I know y'all gonna be sick of me with Shaper Mint. Just prepare. Okay, to be sick of me. So anyway, this is what I'm wearing. I just have on, I'm going to show you in the mirror over here. I got to get this ginger off the floor that I just dropped. So I did my um, jeans with a little, you know, a little, little, little distressing, my little bougie sweat top. This is a large, so you know this is a large. And then my men's hat. All right, so for, oh my God, my pants dirty. It got like, what did I do? Okay, let me go change my clothes. I don't know where I was going. I didn't even make up my bed. <laughs> so let's speed through real quick, find y'all some music and clean up my mess. This is one of my hat boxes that I keep my hats in. Yeah. I did find at Marshall's some more of those tights that I told y'all I love these tights. I, I don't have a picture of me in them. I did wear them to work out the other day. And um, it's the tights, the Willow brand, this brand. 
is these. I love these. I really like these types. So, um, I'm just going to wear them today. I'm just going to go to the gym today. I'm going to work out in the garage today. Um, yeah, we got a lot going on over here in these toys. So now I have that color and the green color now. And this is dirty. This is dirty. So let me make up my bed. Oh my. So I picked up some containers from, where did this come from? This came from TJ Maxx. These are the small containers. I'm going to put the body butters in. We normally put the body butters in glass, the amber glass containers, but they be putting them in their backpacks. And I'm like, don't, don't take the glass to school. So I told them I'd get them some of these plastic containers to put the body butters in so I can put them in their handbags or backpacks or whatever. So I picked up these. They're like four for three dollars, and then I got these jars for the bigger body butters. But I was looking at them. I mean, this would be cool to like prep your girl. Why is this locked? How does this work? Oh, they lock in together. Oh, that's cool if you want to stack them like. Oh, I didn't know that, but that's cool. That'd be cool to do a body butter gift set, too, with the different fragrances. So, I did pick up some more body oils recently that I shared on, um, hold on, let me move y'all over here. This makes more sense. So, I picked up some more oils from a scent for you. Like, this one is Chocolate Greedy. It's, a like, the dupe of the... Um, chocolate greedy fragrance. So I figured if I, this is one of my, I love this scent. Yeah, I, <laughs> I always get the oil, but I finally got the actual perfume. So I figured since I got the perfume, I can layer it with like a body butter. So this is from the house of Montal. I've already talked about this on another channel, but um, so since I have the fragrance, I figured I make a body butter using the oil. So that's why I picked this up. I picked up a bunch of other ones too, like Cherry Smoke, which is a new fragrance that uh, Tom Ford just came out with recently. And then, um, what is this? Dama Bianca? No, what is this? Oh, this Dawn of Born Aroma. I didn't feel like repurchasing this fragrance, so I just bought the oil. Um, yeah, I, I have like two trays. Like one of these trays is just oils, but this one is just... It's a mixture of oils and samples, and when I send like gifts or like giveaway stuff, I always like to put like these samples, like these um, Zerjoff samples, whatever. Um, Yam Pistachio is another one that is a dupe of like Kaoli's perfume, so I didn't want to purchase that perfume, I didn't think I would wear it. This is one of my favorites, Libre Intense. I need to actually order this perfume this week. But anyway, I picked up some more oils from Scent For You. And when I bought them, I bought some butters. And of course, like I said, I'm going to put them in um, these containers. Let's see this. Um, like I said, I'll share with you the stuff from Shaper Mint when we do a Shaper Mint video. But they sent the Shaper Mint Essential All Day Every Day Short Sleeve Shaping Shirt. Y'all, it's a shirt instead of having a tank top. Like, are you serious? I wear this tank top all the time. I tell y'all that, though. All the time. Especially now it's cold, too. Mm. All right, so this one is a size. It's a size medium. And it's what the shirt looks like. It's a shaping shirt. Look at this. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, I'm, I just I can't wait. I can't wait to try that one on. It's in a couple colors. Um, yeah, they sent, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, they sent like this new color. They sent the long sleeve one, the white one. Yeah. Let me see. Let me open the white one. Because I might get that one away. Um, I don't want to open it, touch on it. Oh, they feel so good. They feel so good. Like, I wonder if how look how much is stretched. It's crazy. 
Is it like the bra? Oh, you can see it. Like the, the um, this part. It's like the, oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, I can't wait. I should have wore this today. Okay, now let me just, I'll wait. All right. Um, I went to Walmart and because I was looking for some bras for Penny. Someone told me they had a bunch of stuff on sale. She asked for some bras. I told her sure, fine. And they had, let me sit down here so I can show you. Oh my gosh, my knee hurt. Y'all hit my knee on the door. My knee hurt. Don't ask me. Just, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so all these tanks, all these shirts like this, like the little regular like t-shirt shirts that is the brand what is it no boundary so this is no boundary i forget the other brand that's in walmart it's a little bit thicker that brand was like five <clears throat> all these were like three dollars for these little t-shirts so i just bought a bunch of them to um for them to have to wear under like hoodies pullovers that kind of stuff that's what i bought them for and then I bought myself some because, like I said, it was three dollars, three dollars. Okay, for me, three dollars. And I was like, "Come on, friend, get you some of these tanks real quick." And these t-shirts. We always order the tanks, like especially for summer, because summer, spring, they always in, in those tank tops or whatever. But um, look, I just bought this yesterday, not knowing I had a package from Shaper Me. I won't even be wearing these, but I'm gonna be wearing them. And I'm gonna probably try to hurt from going online and order some before. Hopefully my discount code work. It's in my link under in the link tree. I'm hoping it works because I'm about to order some more. They had all these bras, like these, like this material, three dollars. I said I was gonna try it on just so if I found any more. It's called Joy Spun, but it's the material. I bought a bunch of like nude panties like this from TJ Maxx and uh, for all of us. And I was like, oh my God. So these feel so soft. Like them, like them sleep bras or whatever. It may be sleep in them. Or just around the house, like loungewear or whatever. Yeah, see, they were $3. So check your, um, what to say, Joyce Bunt? Check your Walmart and see what's going on. Because literally every store I went to for the last two days had clearance, even Burlington. Okay. Um, they had a bunch of these for three dollars. No, they had these for a dollar. These were a dollar. So I got these for the girls. They got all the colors or whatever. Got myself one. I don't even know if I can fit it. Y'all say it's say medium, but it looks medium. But I forget that my this part is small. So yeah. Anyway, I did pick up some stuff from Crazy Boss. Um, I can show you what I got if you're here in Houston. You haven't been to Crazy Boss in a while. They've been having a lot of stuff on the racks for like three and five dollars. Let me show you. So I actually went through I went through my closet and decluttered a ton of stuff. Like it looks a little skippy. And I picked up a few things from Crazy Boss because I, I mean I, I was gonna pick up so much more, but I'll probably end up going back. But I like the um sleeves of this shirt. It's just a cute little rib shirt. It's just a simple rib shirt. I don't even know the brand of these. They don't even have no brand on them. But they got this like this little puff sleeves or whatever. So y'all know I love black. So I basically, when I go shopping like that, I just go to black and white sections, uh, basically. So I have a dress that has the same pattern. I don't know if y'all remember this. I have a dress like this. And sometimes I wear the dress tucked in like some pants. <laughs> um, oversized pants. So what I did was when I saw this, I said, oh, let me just get the bodysuit. That way, I could just wear this like this. Oh, yeah. I'll show you the dress in a little bit. Um, I, I'm not trying on that. Not trying on some stuff another day. But who did this come from? I picked this one up from H&M the other day. And it's just like, it's another bodysuit, but it's this material. And y'all know I love H&M. I haven't been at H&M so long shopping. I've been doing so much for the girls and Christopher and whatever. And plus, I didn't want to buy clothes in the midst of trying to lose weight um get my health on track i just been focusing on my body and you know all those things and i didn't want to buy clothes to have to need more clothes but i had to buy bras i had to buy panties i mean them them sliding down was a no okay my tights sliding down while i'm on a treadmill was a heck to the no <laughs> yeah i was embarrassed the guy was like ma'am i thought you was falling i, I was like i'm trying to put my pants up <laughs> anyway they had like uh, body suits like this where it's the neck one sleeve out like this you know basically it looks like this 
They had these there. All these were like five ninety nine. So I just bought a bunch of that kind of stuff, like fun clothes, dating clothes or whatever. Date night out clothes. And um, Burlington. Y'all need to check Burlington. I've been finding so much Nike and Adidas at Burlington. I plan on going to a different Burlington today because my girlfriend found some polo pants in a men's section for like $12.99. Like, how you, how you find it? I was like, let me go find Chris for some polo. So I'm going there today, TJ Maxx. But it's not a TJ Maxx over there. Man, it's not a TJ Maxx over there. So I'm going to go to a different Burlington. I'm going to TJ Maxx, Burlington. I got to find something for them to eat, which will be like a sub sandwich and chip day, which means I'm probably going to eat bread today myself and make me like a veggie sub or whatever. But I'm probably not going to eat nothing all day until they eat anyway. So I'll be hungry. Uh, once I drink this juice to get some coffee, y'all, I'll be full. It's, it's just like my body does not crave like food like it used to. Like it's like I was hungry before I just took those sea moss pills, right? I just said, oh, I'm hungry for something. I just drank some of that juice and took a, that shot. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not hungry no more. What is going on? Anyway, we have to definitely take. Oh, I found this candle too at Ross. Y'all, it's so good. It is so good. This one right here. It's called Sandalwood Tobacco. It was $7.99 at Ross. But look how big and nice this candle is. It is so good. Y'all, it's it's not a huge loud throw. It's right here on the side of my bed anyway. But it is so it's it smells creamy. You know, Sandalwood has like that creamy scent to it. Anyway, and I've been keeping these on the side of my bed too. These <laughs> these are not good for you, I don't think. I'm sure it's so much so I'm not going to look at it. But anyway, I've been keeping these right here. Full transparency. All right, let's take our water with us. At one point, like, like from here to like here was white, here to like there was black. I literally got rid of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I just felt like, uh, eh, I'm not wearing it. Uh, eh, it's too big. It didn't look good on me. That kind of thing. I went through all my dresses. They didn't feel good at all either. A lot of them. And there's still some stuff in here that I feel I should probably get rid of. But I don't know. It's a mental thing. It's it's mental when it comes to like weight loss or whatever. Very mental for me. So I got rid of a ton of stuff. I don't know if y'all remember this dress I tried on. When I first tried it on, I kept saying, oh, I'm going to put pants on either or something. And the other day I tried it on, my friend was like, oh, that's ill-fitting on you. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't even fit this. Like, last year it was like kind of like, you know, and that looked a little. But I like this color and I like this green, so I kept it. I don't know what to do with it. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with it. I really don't know. So, here's that dress. It's not see-through, I promise. The thing is done fell under here. This is the dress I was talking about that I got from Crazy Boss last year for like $5. And I wore it on the cruise. Like as a one of those nights at the dinner or whatever dress. Well, now I just take the top, throw on a, uh, a black pretty bra or something. And I just wear it as a top. I literally just wear it like this. But um, yeah, this is the dress. Anyway, I was going to show you something. Something clicked in my brain. And I can't think now. Oh, well, when I was talking about those shorts from Shaper Mint, when I was telling you I like to wear them with these short sweater dresses, this is what I mean. These sweater dresses, when you get like these thick sweater dresses and you wear those Shaper Mint shorts underneath, that way, you know what I'm saying? I like, yeah, that's what I like wearing with those. Um, um, I'm trying to think, what else did I pick up? I picked up a couple of things there, and I can't remember what else I picked up. Um. I only, um, what are these jeans called? What are these jeans called? Let me tell you what these jeans called. Not these. I picked up some jeans. I bought these jeans and I can't fit them. These right here. I was actually going to wear this with this today. I can't fit them. Girl, they're tight. And I'm like, why are they so tight? So, article of society of the jeans I wear for my body. I like the ones that have a little stretch in it, though, for him. And I can always count on Nordstrom to have them. But Nordstrom, when Nordstrom, ha when Nordstrom has them, they are normally, it's the original price on here. It doesn't say. They're normally like $70, $68, $70, right? But when you find them at Crazy Boss, they're like $15. 
So I got them anyway. Maybe she'll lose like another 10 pounds and get in these things. But articles of society the jeans I wear like all the time. That's the only things I like. I don't really like anything else at all. I did order a Astros shirt to go with my Astros earrings. I did a haul recently on my um, other channel. Let me get the earrings. Yeah, I went to the uh, jewelry store and I picked up some earrings for the Astros. Like when we go hang out and watch the games. You know, we are in the playoffs, honey. Um, and I asked my girlfriend to make a quick sweat top with me to go with my earrings. So it's just a black sweat top with like the the lips on it or whatever to match the lips here. Just a fun t-shirt. Well, a fun sweatshirt, I should say. So I ordered one of those from her. What else did I get? What else did I get? I bought something else recently. Um, I, I know I bought this from Burlington. Burlington. Yeah, Burlington. It's right here. The original price is like 60 or whatever. And y'all know I have that orange, that orange tight set from Yvette. It was 19. So I picked up this. It feels so good. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, this is the color of it. I was trying to step back so you can see the color. Bless you, girl. Bless you. And last but not least, I just saw some of them. Oh, I know what it was. Here it is. So for um, Penny's Homecoming Dance, I just ordered this. Normally what I do is if it's something like special or a quick occasion something, I normally go on Amazon and I just type in like... <laughs> Evening wear purse, evening wear handbag, um, something like that, cheap or or under twenty dollars. I just type it in search, and it never fails. I always find something ten and twelve dollars. So this is the purse that she took, really pre pretty satin like purse. And um, I used to have so many of these type of bags, and she was like, "Yeah, I probably never wear it again." <laughs> Hell yeah, no, she don't do the camera or none of this stuff. So that was shocking for her to do that. So it does come a little chain. And it, it's kind of long on me. Yeah, it would be a crossbody definitely. But anyway, it was cute. I whole, whole everything was cute. I might even order this in black just because. Just to have it like for, I don't know. Where am I going anywhere? It has the little magnetic clasp and everything. But anyway, it came next day. And it was like under $20. It might have been $12. I don't know. But anyway, I normally keep bottles of purses in this like bag thing like this. So anyway, I'm out of here. Let's get in these streets, friend. I was trying to see if I already have one like that. That's that color. That's that that's a different color, but I don't. And that's it for me. I know someone asked me to try on those shoes. Girl, I'm not trying them shoes on that I bought from the shoe store. They fit. I mean, I don't I don't I don't want to just try on one pair of shoes. I do a try on haul when I get more shoes, but I get a lot of shoes from that store and I had them sho I had those shoes for years. I feel like they're the same quality as if you're getting it from Shein or <laughs> some of that stuff off of Boohoo. What's the other one? Forever 21. I've seen some stuff at Zara that I've seen there and was like, come on, Zara. So yeah, it's yeah, it's kind of weird, but they always have the cutest, more you know, colorful, one-time, cute wear like fun shoes. Like I've seen some shoes like this at Zara once, and I promise you, I ain't paying no more than fourteen dollars for this big old heavy shoe. And I wear them. I put my little stickers on this so my feet won't slide. I wear them. But anyway, I'm out. Let's go. By the way, yes, this little mini sofa was in Tara's room. It's temporarily in here. I don't know if it's going to stay in here or go in Penny's room, but we're doing some things to their room, and we're getting rid of... Um, it needs to be a big picture here, and then it wouldn't look so bad right here. But, um, yeah, once I put the picture on the wall, it won't look so bad over in that corner because right now it just looks like a little stool or something. I don't know what it looks like. It looks a mess in here. That's what it looks like. But anyway, we're doing some stuff in their room. And I just need to move it out the way for like right now kind of thing. And I'm getting a dresser sent. So we don't know if it's going. I think it's going to Penny's room. It depends on the layout of their room and what we're doing. We, we are definitely moving some stuff around and getting rid of some old stuff that we've been holding on to. Old dressers that need to go type of thing. And um, just trying to get some newer stuff. <laughs> 
and get rid of old stuff. That's all. So that's why you see that in here right now. She never uses it anyway. And I just got through cleaning it real good. I have, a, I think, a cleaner machine coming. Carpet cleaner furniture machine that someone wants me to try out. I'm definitely going to try it on this thing because Quest used to sit on here. And um, which I was thinking, <laughs> putting it in the hallway upstairs for Quest and let him just sit on it. But girl, this thing costs, it's cost too much for Quest to be having his own sofa. But y'all know how it goes. Anyway, let's go. Oh, you can't even see his car. Her ass car. Okay. Wasting my time, spending my night from you, no face time. I'd rather be face to face with you. Baby, you call it when you wanna be in the mood lately. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you keep it high, babe. You on fire. Birthday suit better than designer. Steph Curry got my stroll like water. Second half, yeah, I'm coming in harder. Rolling. Send me, baby, is you all in? Act up, yeah, a little less talking. No shame, you ain't leaving in the morning. Phone ring, I ain't gotta check the caller, no, no. Coffee, and I asked for a cookie. But see, what happened to get on the phone? Girl, for the side of the cookie is $6.50. And a lot of pay is $7.50. I didn't know the cookie would be $6.50. And here is the cookie. So, pay care, and I really didn't cookie. It's like bread. So, I didn't see anything here. I probably picked them up from the program. But. $6.50 for a cookie. Oh, yeah. Wow. The cakes are good. I would eat it every day. All you gotta do is say less. And it's all good if you are play. I'll do you right in the worst ways. Hit me late up on a Tuesday night. Yeah, I got the Uber outside. Even if the time flies by, you know I'll be ready on sight. Roll up, we good for the evening. Sip a little something if you need it. Baby, like a drum, no, I beat it. Right, do it like that. I just might run it right back. So tell me, baby, is you all in? Act up, yeah, a little less talking. No shame, you ain't leaving in the morning. Phone ring, I ain't gotta check the caller, no, no. Baby, say less Up tight, let me unstress you Baby, later we can undress If you got time, baby, let me bless you Say less, baby, say less If you up tight, let me unstress you Baby, later we can undress you got time, baby, let me bless you
So we're gonna cut this trip short and we're gonna do this again tomorrow because I have the shakes, the jitteries, anxiety, I have it all. That coffee was so good. Y'all, it was so good, that lavender coffee. It tastes like a really smooth, like I can still taste it as if I'm drinking it right now. It's been over an hour. It tastes like Arabic coffee, nice, dense, dark Arabic coffee with a shot and a half or something. Like it's more than one shot. But the lavender and the oat milk was so smooth. Oh, it was so good. I probably drank it too fast. I probably drank it too fast. And now I feel like, oh my God, you better eat. And I went to take a bite of Christopher's cookie and that thing was super sweet. Super sweet, super buttery. Like he gonna be crunk off this $6 cookie. I can't believe that cookie was $6. Oh my God. I was in Marshall so long looking for like hair products for myself and the girls. I was looking for like deep conditioners and some stuff I wanna uh, do to my hair. Um, to start doing for the next week or so. Cause I think I'm just gonna get it braided at the end of the month. Or maybe next week. I don't know, I need to find out how much it costs for me to get my hair braided. I need to stop by there. And I still haven't even bought them what they're gonna eat for dinner tonight. So I have to stop and get something to eat. And I, I cannot even fathom in my brain right now where to stop. I know that at the Panda Express, which I don't even think it's one over here, they have this bowl. And it's like the noodles, and it has like broccoli and cabbage and whatever. I know I can eat that. I've eaten that not too long ago, and I didn't get sick off of it, which is surprising for me. But um, I feel like I still need to wipe my hands. For some reason, I feel like my hands are still dirty. I'm touching all this stuff. So I did get a bunch of stuff, like hair-wise or whatever, for a child or whatever. But I want to start, like, um, when I get my hair braided this time, I last time I oiled my scalp and I kept everything up, so I had a lot of shed hair like normal, but I had my locked hair. My hair locked so quick, um, but it didn't really thin it out or anything. I, I mean, I still got plenty of edges and plenty of hair, so the girl the last time did it, it hurt like heck. I, they, I almost fell out the chair crying. I almost passed out, but now the way I want my hair braided this time, I think it's going to be quicker, and I don't think it's going to hurt as much because I'm going to get it braided like I used to back in the day. Old school braids. I'm going to show y'all too. But um, I'm just looking around like, what could I eat? <laughs> I've had to go to a restaurant. And I had the jitter so bad, I don't think I could sit like, and wait for fun or anything like that. But anyway, I found some lavender syrup at Marshall's. Okay. Oh. But my coffee doesn't taste like this. I'm literally, it's literally been an hour, y'all, and I can taste as if I'm still drinking that coffee. That coffee was strong, but it was the girl that was sitting not too far me, far from me, was like, "Girl, that coffee is good, right?" I was like, "Right." Like, yeah. So it is an Arabic, uh, like, type type of style coffee shop. Arabic. It's an Arabic coffee shop. And it's pretty cool, it's nice, it has like a place where you can plug up your laptop and all that kind of stuff, I put the address on the screen. I really like it, the bathroom is really nice. I don't know, but um, yeah, I had to stop somewhere. I don't know, maybe I just get a bag of chips. I had to do something to get this to go away. And then we're gonna stop at H-E-B, because I need the bread. I think they have cheese already. I don't know if they're gonna want meat on their sandwiches. We don't need any like lettuce or anything like that. We have that, onions and bell peppers, all the stuff you put on the sandwich, like the sub sandwiches, banana peppers. We have all that kind of stuff. I think they have mayo and mustard. I don't have any mayo, but I don't really eat mayo like this. I don't wanna buy a vegan jar and not really eat it. We do have the hot honey we can drizzle on these sandwiches, so. I don't know what, I, what kind of sandwich I want. All right, so I'm back and I'm still crunk. I did stop at full transparency. I stopped at Taco Cabana and I told them, give me a bean and pico with jalapeno personal quesadilla. Two slices of that stuff and I threw the rest in the trash. <laughs> I just needed something, okay? I feel so much better now. I still got that energy so the kids said they haven't had subway sandwiches in over a year maybe at home 
And I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, are y'all tripping? Am I tripping? They was like, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've made like, um, like the fried shrimp po boys and the salmon fried po boys. I remember making that for them. I don't remember them having like subway sandwiches here, y'all. I, I just don't remember now. And I'm like, but I buy this bread a lot. That's what's so crazy about. I was buying the bread for like avocado toast. Um, to go with like when they make garlic bread for their like pasta. So it might be right. Now I did stop at Subway a couple times this summer when they was going to camp or when Penny was going to summer school. I do remember that. But as for them making it at home, I don't remember. I can't even tell y'all last time I bought lunch meat. I remember I bought lunch meat maybe let's just say twice this year and I threw away meat. So for them to ask again, I was like, uh, I tell myself, whatever y'all don't eat today, pack it up, take it to your friends some more. Don't need that meat in my refrigerator. So, I went to H-E-B, and they had the two for $4 bag of chips. So, I got the regular kettle chips and the jalapeno kettle cooked chips. That'll go with their sandwiches tonight. I picked up the natural mozzarella cheese. I know they have provolone cheese in there. And then the Monterey Jack with the jalapenos. I figured they would appreciate that. And of course, you know, they got that honey, hot honey that can drizzle. Whatever they want to do. I think I'm going to set up this thing right here with all the sandwich stuff. And let them just go for it. I got the barito bread, or however you pronounce it, that they can cut. And I got enough where they can make two sandwiches. So they can make one today and make one for tomorrow. Take it to lunch to school. All the things. Okay. I got stopped so many times when people asked me about this shirt. And I was like, Lolo Inkspot on Instagram. I couldn't remember the name on Etsy. I bet it's the same. Lolo Inkspot. But anyway, let me show you what I got. I don't think nobody's going to eat this. So I'm probably going to take this to my friends. Because I thought this uncured salami was the same thing as that. That thing Christopher asked for every year. What's that long piece of meat? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, summer sausage. But anyway, I got like $2 worth of that. I did not buy a lot. Y'all know. <laughs> I got the honey smoked turkey breast. I got the garlic chicken breast. That's so weird to me. What they do is infuse it with garlic. And then Christopher, of all people... Christopher asked for black forest ham specifically. So I can promise you he's gonna eat like a, two slices and the rest is going to you know what we're gonna take all this to his dad's house. That's what we we'll do. Okay. They eat meat over there. So we're gonna take that to his dad. So I also went to what store is it? So I went to Marshall's. I'm obsessed with buying these bags. I know I have a lot of bags, but I like to keep them in the car for grocery shopping. And for shopping. And I went to go look in my car a few minutes ago. Look for some when I was inside TJ Maxx. And I didn't have a bag in the car. And I don't know why. I guess they took them out. So I did end up getting the um, straws. I wanted some more straws. I got some more. My straws, I've had them for a while. And remember to take these little, these parts off when you clean them. I don't know why I want this. But I got that. I got deodorant because Penny asked for deodorant. So I thought I'd try one with her. This is called Sweeter Than. It is Honey Almond Deodorant by Be Fresh. So I thought we'd try these together and see what we think. They are cruelty free and all the things, vegan, whatever. Yeah, I don't know, but it smells so good. They smell so good. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. So we're gonna try them. I've been using that other deodorant, if you've been around a while, uh, the one that's like lavender and some or eucalyptus or something. I can't think of the name of it now. I'll try to insert the name. But it, after a while, I start itching. Like, I have to use it when I work out and then take it off. Like, watch, take a shower. Don't put no more deodorant on for the day. So, I don't know. I'm going to try this. It's not like I'm musty or anything. But, um, yeah. So, it's, it kind of sucks. But, yeah. I also got this. Y'all, do y'all remember in the natural hair community back in the day when everything was um, Giovanni? Remember the Giovanni conditioner? And you always wanted the one that has the deep conditioner, like the dots on the back. And we would get the strongest one. 
What what happened? I don't know, but I'm, I think I'm going to go back to using Giovanni Shampoo Conditioner. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I just want to like, strengthen my hair a little bit before I start getting these braids. I want something like when I had a braids too. But I ended up getting this. This is uh, Repair and Conditioning for Damage or Overprocessed Hair. And I'm going to try this on Penny hair. And Tara don't have any damaged hair, but Penny got some color in her hair. And I think I'm going to try this and see what I think about it. This is even on for like three minutes or something. And you know, Giovanni is like that no sulfate, no paraben, no whatever, whatever type of product. So I always like buying stuff from them. This is what we got. And this is Curl Shaper Out of Thin Hair. Um, curl Shaper. It's like for thin hair, basically. So if you go on Amazon, these are always 20 something dollars. So this one right here was only... $12.99, like basically half the price. And I was like, well, let me try it. So I washed my hair and tried it. And it's, I'm not going to do it in time, though, before this video goes up. So the next video, I'll make sure I put a plug in on my hair and what it looks like after I use it. Or just tell y'all an update on these products, okay? I also got a leave-in conditioner since I already have the gel to go with this and the cream. I just went ahead and got the leave-in conditioner for TGIN. I actually like this product. It's not one of my favorites, but I do like it, so I bought it. And what is this? Oh, you know what this is? <laughs> so I got this one that is not sugar free because it's cane sugar. The one that's sugar free, y'all, has that stuff. And I don't really like doing the sugar free stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I'm scared of it. It used to not be, but now I kind of am after I watched and read some, watched documentaries and read so much about what they put in it. Yeah. Girl, that coffee got me like, let me grab the rest of the bag. It's, it's so expensive outside. I'm staying inside until I get paid at the end. I'm not going back outside. <laughs> well, I do need to go to home because get coffee. We'll do that tomorrow. So I got some pantalones. Um, some panties. These are the ones I really like. I like these, uh, whatever. I like me. I like the little smooth, whatever ones too. The little soft want the no show silky like feeling but i like these and these are from tahari and they were on clearance yeah it was only like two three dollars off but they was twelve dollars and so 14.99 so let's pick up a pack these are the same ones i picked up for the girls those day too some more honey pot got two packs of these these are the ones i always buy they're always at tj maxx so why not and they're always like what 6.99 tj maxx and like nine and whatever everywhere else so when I see them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I grab them. I also picked up, where did this come from? This came from TJ Maxx, and this was $7.99. And it's a, it's a white pullover like this, but it's the crop top one. Girl, this thing is heavy, like heavy thick. So I don't know if I want to put something on here, like U of H, like my alma mater, or if I want to do... Um, just leave it white like this. But I got me one. I was looking for a small size. They didn't have no small size for the girls. Um, this smells so good. This is Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E Body Wash, Coconut and Shea Butter, Paraben Free Dye Free for All Skin Types. This smells so good. I was like, oh, I can't wait to go home and bathe in this. I get so excited about bath products, seven eight nine. But y'all, it's the smell. Oh my goodness, it's coconut and shea butter, but it smells so good. Almost like coconut, vanilla, and shea butter. This one smells good. Okay. The bottle reminds me of clean, though, like summer, spring clean, but it smells like fall. And then I picked up some joggers for Christmas child. Every time I go, I try to get something for somebody other than myself so I can eventually have. Let me tell you, first of all, Christmas in size <laughs> that I can fit now, so. He was like, please, don't get my joggers out of my closet. <laughs> I was like, sir, I was hanging up your clothes. What are you thinking? But I gave him a bunch of my Adidas joggers that I got in the men's section one time in the um, outlet. I was like, I'm not going to wear these. You can have these. They're men's anyway. And I was like, you can fit them now. And so I was in there hanging up stuff. And he was like, did you come back to get your stuff back? No, I didn't. But anyway, I just picked these up. They're cheap at Burlington. I don't know what else I bought at Burlington. Guess what's it? I thought I bought some other stuff. Who knows? No, I just bought joggers. Wow, sitting in that line to buy joggers. Mm. Anyway, so that's all I got today. I did get some shoes from Ross, so I'll run upstairs to show you what they look like real quick. I did get some shoes from Ross. 
I'm going to throw that over here. I'm going to put this in here. I'm put all this stuff upstairs. Wash my hair real quick. And um, I'll see y'all upstairs. Look how cute this bag is. That's so cute. I'll see y'all upstairs. So I noticed in the stores there's a lot of um, loafers out. I want the ones that said Marshalls. These are like $29. I don't know why I didn't get them. I also saw the same ones at Ross for like $24. I don't know why I didn't get them. But anyway, I got these from Ross. And they were on clearance. That's why I picked them up. And these were 9 West. These are 9 West. And they were on clearance for 19 How cute are these? So I picked up these. They're kind of heavy, too. I want the one that's patent leather, too, though. But picked these up for the fall. Yeah, I think these would be cute with some, like, oversized, like, wide leg slacks and a black sweater. Or, it's like, all black. Or the black slacks with, like, a white sweater or something. Yeah, I like these. They were $19, so got them. And let me show you something else. City Beauty sent me out some more stuff. And they already sent me out a ton of stuff in the beginning of either October to end September. I can't remember, but they sent me out some more stuff. This time around, they sent pretty much the same stuff, except for they added a few new items. And I was like... <laughs> so I have been using the what is it called the uplift firming serum i love this stuff this is so good i really like this i'm using like this every night like on my neck you know we talked about the skin i'm going to give you an update on it probably by the end of maybe the middle of november where i'm really consistent for 30 days but i've also been using that in conjunction with the multi-action sculpting cream on like the loose skin it looks so much better okay um what else have I been enjoying? I've been enjoying the Invisi Crepe Body Balm. And this is for crepey skin. So i just been putting it like on my fupa area, my stomach area, and like between my like my thigh area. And just to see what I don't know what it's doing. Because I didn't take a before picture, which I probably should, but it is, I feel it. <laughs> it's almost like the sensation you kind of feel when you put like that lip gloss on, that plumping gloss, almost feel like that. Put on your legs. They did send out a new serum this time, Advanced Retinol Cream. It's that time of year where we're going to start, you know, we won't be in the sun as much so we can start doing some more, like, peels and all kind of things. And something else they sent, oh, the line filler. I've been using this basically every night right here. Right here. So, I'm going to do it for 30 days and see. But, y'all, remember I show you, you pump it and then you just fill it in the line or whatever. But, anyway, I've been using this. And they sent a, a something else that was new that I had never seen. Oh, you know what it was? It is City Lash. So this is the mascara. But they sent City Lash, which is a serum that you just swipe right above your lash to help, like, with your lash growth. Um... I have lashes, so I'm not really tripping on that, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm funny about stuff above my eyes. I told y'all that, right? I'm really funny about anything to go right here. Anything right here, I don't know why it bothers me, but um, yeah, so they sent that. I also got some stuff in from Merit. Merit sent me, y'all know I love Merit, so I bought the financial stick or whatever. And their, what did they send this time? This is Merit Beauty and... They sent out, oh, the, uh, the concealer, which is way too bright, but <laughs> I used it the other day anyway on Penny. I was like, oh, this works on Penny. See, it's extremely light um, on me. Yeah, but I was like, oh, I got the wrong color. But now I know what color to get. And this is the color I normally use. I thought it was empty and I couldn't find it. That's the color I normally use. But um, yeah, Merit Beauty sent me out another one but i just she don't even need the cellar but i thought she could have it for like you know those dress up days or whatever her and tara they also sent the brush the concealer brush oh this brush right here gets like literally like like this it's crazy um but i actually ordered one what else was sent to me that i want to share with you all oh we did do the makeup for pity and i already showed you her real or whatever beginning the video and it came from um, Urban Decay. Sent this palette out for her to try, or really for me to try. But I told him I was doing it on Penny. 
because um, I like the highlight and glitter or whatever, but it's glitter, baby. It's glitter, boo. It's like a pressed type glitter. I'm going to try to see the true color, and I think that it's going to be kind of hard. But, um, yeah, it's, look at that. Crazy, sick, right? I'm barely, like, tapping it. I'm barely tapping it, like, swipe, right? It's crazy. That's crazy. Look at that. That's crazy. Like, I barely, barely. So, she used that along with the uh, Mundus liner. And once it's on, this is on. So, yeah. I like this, too. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, girl, I had this stuff all over me now. I just have to remember not to touch this sweater, okay? That is basically everything for today that I wanted to share with you all. I am going to do the dedicated video for... Um, Proven. I need to do a dedicated video for them so I could talk about their products and what I really enjoyed about it. There was only one thing I was iffy about and not the product itself, but the effect of the product. Um, other than that, everything I've been using, I'm like, okay, I've been really enjoying all these cruelty-free products, right? These older, more mature, more mature skin products. And uh, it feels good to, to see products dedicated just for us, right? And... Yeah, like crepey skin, like what? Yeah, anyway, so I'm out. I will see you all on the next video. I hope you have an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed this extremely long vlog. Um, yeah, peace and blessings.